Hello people. Today I'll be showcasing the program Notepad++, its features, and we're going to be doing a minor website tutorial on how to do the very minimal basics of one. First off, Notepad++ has a coding program, as you can uh, kind of see right here. To get it, it's very simple. Open up your Google or whatever your search engine is. Go to Notepad++. It's right here. You can either click on Home or go to Download. I like Download. You'll see all of this. You want to click on Notepad, whatever version is installer, not the zip, not the whatever installer. Once you click on that, it'll give you this icon right here. You want to run it. Select your language. You have a bunch. I like English. It'll say this is Notepad plus plus installer. Okay, you agree to not do anything bad. You can choose where it installs it. I do my program files. That's probably your default as well don't screw with this unless you know what you're doing and then you want to click on create desktop shortcut hit install I'm not going to install it because you already saw it's already installed it will present you with an icon that looks like this right down here and then with that you can do whatever you want with it I put it to my taskbar and put it in a folder in some place that I don't even know where it is now but that's basically where I put it so first off notepad plus plus is a coding program like I said before uh, we're gonna use it for websites we can use it for so much more uh, this is just going to scratch the very surface. So first off, is that we're going to master saving. Saving is very simple. Once you write anything, you go up to File, you go to Save As, you go to wherever you want. Mine, I have Desktop, and I have a folder called Web Pages. You can name it whatever you want. I just like New One. Once you're done with that, you want to go to Save As Type, and since we're doing a website, we need to do HTML, which is Hypertext Markup Language File. Click on that, and then hit Save. And then if we go in our web pages folder, which I thought I had opened, yep. open it up. It won't open anything because it's not nothing's presented on here. Well, that's just how you save your uh, sites and how you can test them. Now, um, once we do that, uh, let's go on to headings first. Headings and paragraphs. A heading in a web page of anything is more of like a title. It's just the big text on the page. And then paragraph is the smaller text. Uh, to do a heading one, you do H1 and H1, your text goes in the middle. For paragraphs, it's the same thing, P and P, which is start paragraph, end paragraph, and then your paragraph text goes in the middle. Very simple, and then when you run it, it looks like this. It can say whatever you want, all of that fun stuff. Next, uh, different types of uh, font, not font, different types of uh, formatting text. Uh, for instance, you have uh, bold, big, emphasize, italic, small, strong, and subscripted. And this is how you make them all. It would be sub, strong, small, I, M, big, and B. And there's a whole bunch more, but this is just the basics that you might want to use if you really want to use them. And to do it, ignore the BR at the end. That's just so that they stack going down. They don't go in a big line across, which is kind of confusing. So basically, you just do start bold, write your text, and then hit end bold. And that's about how you do it. And then save it like I showed you before. Open it up and you're set. Moving on, we have styles, I guess. Give me a sec. Oh, I didn't do that one. So basically for this, it is very easy. This is if you want certain text to be colored or in a certain type of font like Arial, Helvetica, etc. keeps going on and on and on. And as you can see, I wrote it out very simple for you. You font size equals, and you put in your size, which is a number, a number, which is 1, 2, all the way to infinity, whatever your number wants to be. There's a space right there, face. This is your font name, Arial, Helvetica, whatever. Please spell it right. It'll help out, you know, it, it doing it. And then color, whatever color you want. You can do its basic colors. I would stick to, which would be like red, blue, green, purple, all that stuff, and then your text goes here, whatever you want to say. I wrote text goes here for your sake, and then you want to do end font. As you can see, if I highlight this, you have the start of the font over here and the end of the font, so that's the start and the finish. Now moving on. <laughs> this page finally comes in handle. Andy, styles. Uh, basically, body style would be the background color. If uh, you make it yellow, let's see if we can make it... Uh, Ooh, I can't. Okay, cool beans. So basically, you have the start of your body, you have your style, your background color, uh, whatever color you want, do basics. 
I'm gonna see if I can do blue really quick. Alright, cool. I guess basically any basic color works and you can look up other names if you really want to on Google. Just type in HTML colors for body, I guess. Uh, for headings, which would be this, you can just highlight the heading. Be the same exact thing. Put in your color there. Put in whatever you want your heading to be. Start of heading, end of heading. And then for your paragraph, it's the same thing. Start of paragraph, pick your color, write your text, end of paragraph. Simple, simple. Next would be uh, links that you want to put on your website. Uh, links are very simple. Basically, it's uh, start of A, then href equals your URL. Do a URL, please don't do a www. It'll work for some, but not all people. So you want to go HTTP. All right, you still with me? Colon slash slash, and then whatever you want to type. Let's go Google. All right, save it, and then when I click on this, it should open up a new f what? Whatever, let's just completely ignore that I did that, all right? Don't laugh at me too much. Next, this is for lists. Lists are very simple to make. They're really nice if you want to do, like, like upcoming events, stuff on your page. And I guess you can make these list things uh, links, too, so they can go to, like, different pages on your websites if you really want to. Um, as you see head, start of head, start of body, end, end, and this is an ordered list, which is just dots, which are, you can put anything there. Ordered list would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it goes all the way to whatever number you stop at, really. <laughs> and then dash list is like, def it's like a topic, and then it's defining the topic. Kind of like, kind of like a heading and a paragraph, I guess, but in a smaller type of sense. Let's, let's go with that, that sounds pretty legit. And then uh, number last one would be color for your text. This would just be if you want this to be blue, purple, yellow, whatever. Um, colors, you have any color in the entire rainbow, but you can't just put like blue here. You have to put the color name. Um, it's fairly simple, I guess. All right, perfect. I found a perfect thing for you guys. This is a website. Uh, you don't really need to go here, you can just google it, I just typed in colors for html fonts basically you're presented with this, you can move it anywhere even though there's that weird can't move thing, you can still move it anywhere you want find whatever color you want, it's displayed right here um, you can change how bright it is, how dark it is, right in the middle say I want it to be green, your color code is right here, you'd copy it and you'd replace it with this right here save it, no not search, save Reload this, and then it'd be green. That's what I searched. Simple dimple. Say I wanted it to be pink. For all you girls watching this video, I know how much fun this must be for you. Grab that, reload, and that's about that. So guys, this is how um, Notepad++. Simples for it. You can test this out if you want to. Go back to certain points and all that fun jimmer jammer. Hope you enjoyed it.